All right, Joe Bradley, uh, some quotes of yours were carried in the examiner this week. Taken out of context, this. I know. Don't but, listen to everything you read in the newspaper. But there's a huge, I mean, there's a huge response from Cork fans who <laughs> want, want you to praise their team tonight. Well, well, it would be hard not to. I was sitting with my old fella yesterday in Croke Park, and I have to say you now that they're, they would beat the pick of all three teams that were there yesterday. They really played like champions, and... I mean, it's no exaggeration to say that the game was over after 15 minutes. Now, I know that Down's defence is poor, you know, the sort of the GA equivalent of the Territorial Army, and their midfield was completely obliterated, as it was in last year's All-Ireland Final. But there was a smoothness about Cork's performance yesterday that I haven't seen in Croke Park. Their passing, their movement, the two goals were brilliant. And also, I tell you another thing that we don't get, we sort of sit up in the crow's nest watching. I mean, yesterday I had plum seats right down, you know, about 15 rows back. To get a proper impression of their power and their pace, their strength, their ball winning ability. You know, and I must say, uh, I couldn't have been more impressed. And I mean, obviously, the big issue for Cork being All Ireland champions is are they going to beat Kerry? You know, that's the issue. And after what happened in the first half in Munster, which must have been a huge shock to your system, their system, you say, well, look, still there is this deficit, this skill deficit that exists between the teams. But the I mean, there's no shame is, in that. There? Kerry, are, Kerry are one of the great teams, though. Well, what, well, they have where, been where, anyway. Where, where, where are Cork lacking then to well, I carry? Think that, I think that the difference is, you know, because you're obviously in, in, in big games where the, the defence becomes claustrophobic and where every point is vital and economy is vital. Cork do break forward a lot from midfield and half back, but don't score. I mean, they're midfielders. We, we, we pointed this out last year as well. Continually break forward into scoring positions, but don't take advantage. Their half-backs break forward, don't take advantage. And in an, in an All-Ireland final, as distinct from yesterday where Cork really put on a master class, as distinct from that when they're playing against Kerry and there's psychological pressure, because I think in truth that the only team that can beat them is Kerry. I really do think that Cork have left just, everyone just else behind. Just to go back on that, first of all, uh, the, the, the article was rubbish. Absolute rubbish. It made Cork out to be comical fingers stumbling along. Well, that's, it took, that's, it took, that's, it took, it, no, that's poked, completely wrong. It poked that, fun that, at them, actually. Well, that's completely and wrong. Just on the, on the analysis bit, you take the two midfielders and the three half backs. Adam O'Connor has been Cork's best player this year so far. Owen, Owen Cadigan was, was wing back yesterday. He was fantastic. Uh, John Meskela was very good. Tony, so you're, I thought you're, were, you're, I thought, Tony, hold on a second. Joe's you're, point you're, is you're about deliberately, going you're forward, deliberately yeah. missing the point. Cork are, and I said this last year, throughout the year. Cork are the best ball-winning team around that middle third, I think, that I've ever seen. They won 80% of possession in last year's All-Ireland Final. Yes, and they beat, watch, hold on a second, hold on a second. They beat a mediocre down team by a point in the All-Ireland Final. Tyrone would have beaten them by 10, even Tyrone We're now. We're not talking about Tyrone, we're talking about Cork. And as All-Ireland Champions, it's disrespectful, actually, to uh, writing about Well, Tony, let's ah. be fair about it. Don't, you know, it's, it's not my fault that you just haven't beat Kerry in a big game in Croke Park. You know, that's a private... No, they that, haven't that, beaten Cork. Well, all and, I'm saying and is Kerry are the only team since 2004 to have beat Cork in the Championship. Let me put it this way, it matters not a jot to me, if Derry don't win the All-Ireland, it matters not a jot to me who wins the All-Ireland, but watching Cork, you'd have to say, Munster final again this year, Munster final last year when Cork had dominated possession, All-Ireland semi-final last year, All-Ireland final last year, dominating possession and winning by a point. They're still All-Ireland champions. I understand that, but we're still looking... Still double league champions, yes, so they're not too bad. Yes, but we're looking... Of course, they're, they're not we, comic we, we give a right arm to be Cork instead of Derry at the moment. Yeah. But what I'm saying is this. You look at them in that context, and what's the question for Cork? Will you, can you beat Kerry in a big game the in biggest, Cork Park? The biggest question now, Des, isn't the sector, that sector. The biggest sector for Cork now is their forwards with all the injuries they have. It's crucial what happened yesterday with Daniel Goulding out. Barry O'Driscoll, the sub coming in, well, they breaking injured in the Munster final. No, but for Cork to go on as and, you're talking about... And they haven't about, been injured in all the big games in Croke Park when they've been Cork beaten totally by Kerry. Cork totally dominated Kerry in the second half in the Munster final. They, they okay, lost, they lost again, the but totally you know, dominated. But Tony, that was only two weeks ago. Tony, Tony, the reality you, is that they do struggle from numbers five to nine to yeah. score. Do you see and also, the other thing that they struggle with is this. They've got two, in my view, brilliant forwards, Goulding and O'Connor. I mean, I thought O'Connor yesterday, because he was getting supply, because they were so overwhelmingly on top, I thought he was brilliant yesterday, the best I've ever seen him. I genuinely mean that. But the problem is, you look at them against Down last year, and I mean, in fairness I, to Down, when Down got... To, if, if that's Down Daniel, had, Daniel Goulding, the ball into to yeah, Dunica, and he finishes pass. it off. Fabulous, yeah. fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. But they're starved of possession. Him. In most games, they're starved of possession because Cork the persists thing, with a short thing, passing well, game Well, the one thing the I do like about Cork is they play your traditional 15-man player, where they, like they play it as it is, 
But do you accept Joe's goal. point that they need to score more they in his move view, the ball into the forwards? Positions. But they need to move the ball into the inside forwards. And midfielders. A half back is this not their job to score. A ha- I've played half back, and if I went beyond the halfway line, I'd be sh- I'd be showed is, it, John Kerran used to be in goal and say, Get yeah. the hell back, your job is to defend it is in and the modern game, man. Tony. It is in the modern game. game. I mean, Joe McMahon scored a goal from fullback for Tyrone. Swift scored a point. Every, I think five, four of the Tyrone six defenders right. scored a point. You need to be more versatile, and this is a problem well, we, when you play against the Kingdom. Tomas the Cork half backs. I would, I would suggest that Cork half backs have scored more in a championship in the last three years than any other half back line in the country. Okay. You tell me another half back that has scored more. John Mescula has scored a, lo- a load of scores in the last couple 20, of years. Like, you know, it's not about scoring. Halfback is about winning breaks, know, this is okay. the, getting the, the ball the, in. The, All right, well, this debate yeah. will run because I've no doubt uh, we have Cork you know, the, the, and the, Kerry the, playing the, again. You know, this no, Joe, is, I want to bring in the This the, is, the is a pretty, teams now well, a second, this is a pretty refined criticism of Cork because, I mean, yes. don't get me wrong, they are a great side, there's no doubt about that. But the reality is this. They have failed against Kerry, significantly failed against them. And the issue is now, okay. how do they cure that problem? All right, but we have viewers watching tonight who didn't see the draw earlier in this evening, and it's a big part of the whole uh, structure of the football championship. And this is the draw for those of you who didn't see it. Kerry versus Limerick, Donegal versus Kildare. Dublin will play the winners of Tyrone Roscommon. Tyrone Roscommon play next weekend, obviously, as well. And Mayo Cork. So the quarterfinals are all due to be next weekend. Dublin won't play next weekend because Tyrone must come and have to play. We understand it'll be two double headers in Croke Park. <laughs> now, the, we know the semi final draw, if you leave that there for a moment, because the winners of the Leinster final, Dublin, they'll play the winners of the Donegal tie. So it'll be in the semi final Donegal and Kildare versus Dublin or Tyrone, and Mayo or Cork versus Kerry or Limerick. That's the semi final draw. One of our listeners has tweeted with an extraordinary uh, line on this, Joe that Kerry, if they got to the final, would beat Limerick and Cork in Munster and then beat Limerick and Cork again to get to an All-Ireland final. I think that makes a nonsense of the championship, that they won't have played a team outside Munster. Aye. Well, in fairness, I mean, uh, if I could only paint for you Tony's reaction when the draw was made and Kerry got Limerick. <laughs> he, nearly, he nearly fell off his seat with disgust. I wish them the best. <laughs> I know that, I understand that. But the, the thing is, though, I mean, if they play Cork in the, in the semi-final, I mean, that is the that is the game. I mean, that is the all right. Awesome Mayo, yeah. Carry on, lads. Carry to beat Limerick. Is that? Yeah, that's, I think okay. that. Sure. Be, they were taking no points against that. them in the first will, round. Will of the it's an awful Mayo, blow. Comfortably. Yes, they will. They will. They, they will, should. They will wipe the floor. They with, should. But with they the injuries, the floor okay, with the injuries are colossal. Tony, okay. I, Tony, Tony, I, I, colossal. Golding is definitely a bad loss. You can't judge Mayo and 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 Roscommon because the weather. Weather was dire. All right, Donegal, Kildare. I think that I think that Donegal will beat Kildare, but. Because I think, I think Donegal's full forward line will win it for Donegal. And Dublin will play either Tyrone or Roscommon. Do you they'll expect Tyrone? They'll play Tyrone. I suggest Tyrone. And I think it's the game Dublin need. I think that would be a crack. OK. Yeah. All right. That's it for tonight. Thank you very much to Tony and Joe. Join us again for a bumper programme again next Sunday night. From all of the team here, thanks for joining us. We've lots more chat here, but we'll see you next week. Bye-bye for now.